I'm visiting the new head office of the Toronto Region Conservation Authority. Let's talk about some of the details of this fantastic project. The majority of the building is mass timber construction. The sight, and more vividly the smell of the wood, hits you like a 2x4 when you come through the door. The ground floor was the only visible cement surface. Even the stairwell, normally the concrete core of an office, was instead a specially treated wood. You get a great feel for this wood-first approach from the twin open atriums of the building's core, where large skylights fill the workspace with natural light. The atriums are also home to these glass and steel structures, which I at first mistook for elevators, but are actually a combined solar chimney and water wall. These are connected to the building ventilation, with the solar chimney providing passive heating and cooling, and the water cascading down the metal mesh, helping to regulate humidity and filter the air. The office temperature is further controlled using an open-loop geothermal system, which pulls water from below the ground, cycles it through these radiative ceiling panels, and then discharges it back to the groundwater below. And if you think having all this water circulating through an all-wood building could be a problem, you're not alone. Designers included a veritable swarm of sensors tracking temperature and humidity spread throughout the building, all reporting back to a central brain monitoring these systems, which TRCA staff have taken to calling the boss. The boss is also connected to a weather station on the roof and controls the heated metal sunshades on the outside of the building. TRCA staff also told me they're trained that when one of these panels glows green, the building is asking them to open a window, and if it glows red, to look around for a window to close. The building is very much a test of these new technologies and how they interact, which can be difficult to predict. During my recent visit, for instance, the water wall was shut down because water from a sprinkler test had contaminated the filtered water used in that system. The first years in this building will see a lot of such learnings, most of which will fall to the building operations team. And that's an excellent reminder for all of us that no matter how advanced or grand we build, it's how people ultimately work and interact with our projects on a human scale that will decide if it's a success or not. Fortunately, the TRCA staff I spoke with are very proud of this building and invested in this office as a technological demonstrator for what can work elsewhere. So if you want to learn more, why not drop by for a visit and let them share their stories with you.